So I wanted to talk about targeted individuals and love. That is something that is uh, not talked about. You know, we are hunted like animals by these demonic little vibrational assholes. But no one talks about the love aspect. I believe there is love out there for the targeted individual. The problem is that we are purposely kept away from each other. We are many as targeted individuals and we all have that gift in us. All of us have those powers because trust me, it's not just because some asshole or some person in our family wanted to sell us. We are indigo children as they call them. We're star seeds and there's a aura about us, an energy about us and that energy, that light you know, is what makes us special. So they keep us all separated from each other. And when you do find a mate, it's always an asshole. It's always a person that is a handler more than a lover to you, you know, and they purposely are narcissistic. They're always narcissistic and make you second guess yourself and, you know, look at other people. They're cheaters. They're liars. It's always something. And they keep us away from each other because we are perfect for each other. We are the perfect love. What they call it is the twin flame. The twin flame is the yang to the yang. You know, I think in um, there was a movie called Hitch where Will Smith was a guy with powers and then he had Charlie Theron who had the powers too. And they were like a power couple, you know? And they were twin flame. They were very narcissistic twin flames because that's what the world wants you to think. That you're supposed to fight and hate each other, but really you're not. You know, we are light beings. We're naturally loving. And the world is trying to hunt us down and treat us like shit because the world is full of hate. These people are miserable. You know, their mothers don't love them. Their fathers don't love them. They don't even love their own children. They'll be willing to murder their fucking kids for money. You know? And they're always chasing love. And because they can't find it, they have a big hole where their heart used to be. You know, literally, I'm Mario, an icebox where my heart used to be. You know, they have to try to fill that void by hurting other people. Because hurt people hurt people. Normal beings don't go around just being disgusting to other people just because I'm hurt. Us targeted individuals notice that we're always so spread apart. Always. We are never within a few neighborhoods within each other. And if we are, we won't know. You know? Because us together, we are fucking unstoppable. You know? You have a twin flame. Look at what I'm willing to do for my children. I am one targeted individual. For my own children, I am willing to destroy everything. Imagine a twin flame. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a twin flame out in this world? You understand? The world wouldn't be doomed. The world would be a fucking better place. But that is the very reason why they keep us targeted individuals away from each other. Especially relationship-wise. They always have to match you with a narcissist because your light is so bright. In the Bible, Jesus says, "Your light, let your light shine bright. When you have a lamp, you don't put the lamp under the fucking bed. You put it on top of the counter or on the table so that it can brighten up the whole entire room. And that is us. We are the light of the world. That's what Jesus says. You understand what I'm saying? And us being with that twin flame, it would just, it would be something that the world would not be able to handle. Because here you are, Becky Decky, you know, with fucking John who's a goddamn pedophile and fucking fucks your sister and your mom on Sundays and has sex with the fucking tennis instructor who's a total guy, by the way. You know? And then there's you, the targeted individual in a perfect fucking relationship. And perfect relationships exist. Fucking awesome sex. Beautiful children. Never arguing. And I mean never arguing. You might have disagreements where you don't agree on things, but you never argue. Because targeted individuals, we are empaths. 
and we have telekinetic powers where we can just read people's energies and tell what, how people feel without them ever having to tell us because that is a part of our powers. Now imagine you dating someone else that has that same power. Would you ever have an argument? They would instantly know what makes you mad. They would instantly know, you know what I mean, everything about you. And life would be perfect. You'd have the perfect Valentine's Day gift, the perfect birthday gift, the perfect Christmas gift, the perfect sex because they would know when the spot is right it would not be some fucking selfish love you know when you have sex with most of your partners which i've had it's always a one-way thing you know fuck give you a pumping couple pumps and then fucking roll off of your ass but with this guy he would always make sure that you get off first and then he gets off afterward you know that's just the way that it should be you know for me i was promised they call him a Boaz and because you know the story of Boaz there was um Ruth I believe Ruth was um I don't remember the story there was a lady her son died when her sons died the daughter-in-laws they left her but one of the daughter-in-law stayed so because the one daughter-in-law stayed the lady who was the mom she had like a rich nephew so she went to the rich nephew's house to stay but you know the girl she had to work her way and while she was working there the lady like listen this nigga rich i'm gonna give you the 411 on how to get his ass and she you know what i mean she give him give her all the details and they end up getting married and they have kids and that way she was able to give that lady you know grandchildren and kind of like prolong the family line you understand what i'm saying so I was promised to Boaz at the end, the beginning of this. And the, the thing is that I know it seems to suck that us targeted individuals are being hunted down. And, you know, you can't date anybody. And that's that's the pure truth. You really can't date anybody. Almost everyone can be brought, you know. Here you are dating someone thinking that, you know, you like them. But somebody could just pay them a couple dollars and they're going to say anything and do anything to hurt you. And the person that loved you would never do that. Your twin flame would never do something like that. You know what I mean? And I was um, promised a Boaz by God. And in the beginning, I was, you know, running, running towards this this task. Because I was just, like, told that you have to find Boaz. You have to get these powers. And then you can have your children. And... In that quest, I found out the truth because trying to find Boaz brought me down this rabbit hole, this rabbit hole where I found out that all the men of society, most of them, if they're not like us, they're all fucking narcissistic, pedophile, queer, closeted, you know, pagans. And that is something that I'm not a part of. I am a true Christian. I love God. I am, I love God with all my heart, all my might, all my soul, all my being. And I'll be willing to die for him. If he said today that he wanted me to die, I would do it. You understand what I'm saying? And I believe in what the Bible says. The Bible says that husbands are supposed to love their wives more than they love themselves. You don't, you know what I mean? You treat yourself good. You take a motherfucking shower. You treat, you eat, you know, you eat, you work out because you love your body you take care of your body christ said you must love your body you live you must love your wife more than you love yourself and your wife must respect you on earth the way that the things are fashioned there's nothing to respect you are a goddamn man just because you have a job don't mean i have to respect you just because you have a dick don't mean i have to respect you you know just because the world has taught me a certain thing like you have done nothing to to gain my respect just because you were given a title by the world doesn't mean you have earned my respect according to the bible you don't even get no respect from me especially now that i know the truth about the world you understand what i'm saying but i was promised this boaz and on the quest i learned the truth about the, the men all the men in florida and you know it, it not only did it teach me a lot of things it taught me to really take my time and know myself when you know yourself, you can't just get anything. You know, I this is the longest I've ever been celibate. This is a long time I've ever been single from teenage years. And 
I always, you know, would, you know, have to have sex. I would always have to be in a relationship because I couldn't be alone. You know, that's something that they always, how they get us targeted individuals. The fact that we could never really be alone. We like to be around people. We are very talkative. We are very nice people, very social, and especially we are very great partners. All of you targeted individuals are really awesome partners. You're very giving. You're very loving. But that is the very thing that they're preying on. The fact that they know that we are like this. And that is our Achilles heel. You know, that's what did Samson in. Samson was the same way. He was a god as well. He was a judge. And Delilah is the one who did him in. You understand? Once I learned those things, I kind of slowed down. I I don't speak to any more men. Not only that, I noticed that every man that I was seeing, because I was married twice. First guy was a um, Haitian man. And he had sex with my gay best friend. Second one is this man. He's a Latin male. And he had molested my child. And he also cheated on me. And then he spread and slandered my name. You know. And I was, I am totally innocent. But with these men. They don't care about that. They're narcissists. They only care about. You know what I mean? Making themselves look good. They don't think about anyone else. It's just about me, me, me. You know what I mean? And it just... It, it, finding out the way that everything works that everything is just a fucking big game I realized that these people I never got what I wanted what do I want I have a very specific taste number one I I mean I have jungle fever I can't help that you know so this Samson the Palestinian women are white Samson was a black male and Samson just like white women and I am a black woman and I just like white men and I've always had jungle fever ever since I was a young, young girl. I've always had it. And the first time I was married, they gave me a black guy. You know, I didn't want him, but I just said, you know, well, maybe if I give him a chance, you know, things will go good and it didn't go good. So the second time around, I got a Latin male and I said, well, maybe if I give him a chance, things will go good and it didn't go good. So what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is keep your standards. Number one. Second. You don't have to settle for less than what you want. You know what I mean? Don't let somebody put the value on your shit. You are a motherfucking targeted individual. You're a goddamn powerful person. You're a fucking God and you're chosen. Don't let somebody tell you what you deserve in the man and the lover. Even if it takes forever. Even if the person never comes. Well, maybe it'll be in another lifetime. But don't, you know what I mean? Settle for these disgusting pagan men of the world. You know what I mean? I like men, white men. And maybe all of them are definitely pagans. But if there is a white man that's not a pagan out there that is a fucking true Christ follower, you know, and maybe he's targeted as well. And he has power, just like me. We could make it work, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. Or maybe even he, he might not even be human. To be honest with you, I don't even think we're the only species on earth. That's the honest truth. We're taught all this bullshit in our school books. There's probably other species out there right now as we speak walking among us and we just don't know it. And if there is, you know what I mean? I would like to give it a try. Humans, they're okay, but I don't want to deal with any more low vibrational shit. You know what I mean? The whole point is love is real targeted individuals. I know it's hard out there for us. Trust me, I know. I've looked at some of your, you know, videos and, it's, you know, it's, it's, it sucks being by yourself because we're always isolated. But the thing is, we're not isolated because, you know, it's, a, it's just a, a thing to keep us away from society. It is God who is allowing us to be isolated. He wants us to know ourselves. If this situation never happened, we would have been dating narcissistic people our whole entire lives. And we would have been just like all these people. Wake up, go to work, eat, sleep, shit, fuck go to sleep and do it all over again and then died and never have discovered the truth about the world and never would have discovered our true purpose in life do you understand and that is what we're doing the reason why we're isolated is not because we're being gang stalked it's because god has allowed it so that we can learn who we are what have you learned about the world that the world is a very ugly place that people are very disgusting and demonic and for money 
people will go to no ends when it comes to evil for a fucking dollar bill. But you know what you also learn? You learn that you're strong. You learn that you're resilient. You learn that no matter how much money someone offered you, that you would not be willing to betray your family member, your fellow man, or any other human being on this planet. Because you have morals, you have integrity, and you have a heart, and you have power. You're a powerful person. You've learned things about yourself in this whole thing with being a targeted individual. And in the end, you will be rewarded because that's what Jesus said. Jesus knew this was going to happen. He predicted that we would be persecuted. But he said that the one who suffers to the end will be rewarded. Not might be, but will be rewarded. And we have suffered. We have been suffering. But I say, hold on. Help is on the way. Not only help, but love, abundance, riches, and all types of awesome things. Because we did the right thing. Because we put in the hard work. Because we isolated ourselves and we waited. We didn't fall for the tricks of these crazy people. Because we know we got some honey pots out there. Big booty, big ass, and big dicks too. Ooh. But we were patient. We know what lies behind that beautiful smile. It's a goddamn pagan. And we waited. And good things always come to those who wait. Good things always come to those who wait. Love is real. You are love. And somewhere out there, your twin flame is waiting for you. Just because most most of these people are pagans and Satan worshippers does not mean that your twin flame is not out there. You just haven't found him yet. You just haven't found her yet. But you will find them because there is hope for us targeted individuals. And when you find your twin flame, it'll be the best love that the world has ever seen. Trust me.